This is Comprehensive Math Science YouTube channel. Welcome to this channel. In this video, you will be learning about finding the derivative of function root under sin 2x from first principle or from the definition of derivative. Stay tuned with us till the end of this video. You will learn something new and different and very interesting. So let's be let's begin. First of all, we have to consider a function. Uh, this function. Uh, let this function be y is equal to root under sin twice x let this be equation one so our function is denoted by y and the function is root under sine of 2x okay now to proceed further we have to consider a few uh, increments here so those increments are uh, let it mm, that be del x and del y and let's indicate del x by uh, you can say simply k this is an uh, increment in the in x that is a small change in value of x is del x or simply k and del y uh, equals h let del y be indicated by h and it is also a small change in value of value of y or increment in y so after supposing these values and these increments we can write equation one like this so writing equation one in the form of del x and del y so it will be sorry y plus x is equal to root under sine of 2 x plus k bracket okay let this be equation 2 okay now uh, to apply the first principle of derivative we have to uh, subtract equation 1 from equation 2 okay so subtracting equation 1 from equation 2 we get uh, y plus h minus y y plus h minus y because we are subtracting equation 1 from 2 so first term y plus h and minus y is equal to and this term on right hand side 2 sine 2 x plus k minus root under sine 2x so this is our function after uh, subtracting equation 1 from equation 2 here y y cancel out and remaining term is s is equal to uh, root under sine 2 x plus k minus sine 2 x okay here we have to apply another step okay so on right hand side there is k or del x inside sine okay so we have to divide this whole term on both side by k here so simply divide uh, divide both side both sides by k or simply del x so we get h divided by k is equal to sine root under sine 2 x plus k minus sine to x whole divided by k now taking limit on both side so to find the derivative of given function we have to take limit on both side as k tends to 0 okay as k tends to 0 not as tends to 0 because you know variable here is x and k means the small change in the value of variable so k is variable here k is also variable here you can say so we have to uh, take limit um, as k tends to 0 Mm, so taking limit as k tends to 0 we have uh, limit k tends to 0 as divided by k is equal to limit k tends to 0 root under sine 2 x plus k minus root under sine 2x whole divided by k okay after taking limit the expression becomes like this okay on right hand on left hand side we have we know del h means del sorry h means del y right and k means del x so simply replace h and k by their original value on left hand side like this okay so it is actually limit del x tends to zero del y divided by it is 
del x right is equal to on right hand side let the k be as it is okay or simply you can replace k by del x as well so here if you change uh, uh, k by del x then you you will have to write del x in place of k but uh, in right now i use k okay i don't change it to del x on the right hand side okay so k tends to zero so here uh, what we have to do is if you put k is equal to zero on numerator and denominator you will get zero by zero which is which is undeterminate form so you cannot proceed further to find the derivative so here we don't use k is equal to zero directly we have to simplify this form okay to simplify this we have to multiply uh, numerator and denominator both side nu nu numerator and denominator by uh, plus form of this one okay i mean to say uh, it is uh, let this term be as it is sine 2x plus k minus sine 2x whole divided by k into now multiplying numerator and denominator by sine 2x plus k plus sine 2x whole divided by sine 2x plus k plus sine 2x okay and on left hand side we are by definition limit del x tends to 0 del y by del x means it is dy by dx right it means derivative of y with respect to x okay so on right hand side we have um, see uh, you can take uh, this term out of the limit okay out of the limit k tends to 0 it means we can use simply use k is equal to uh, 0 here because uh, there is plus sign in between these two terms and there will be no indeterminate form if we take this in denominator out of the limit so it, it will become like this uh, root under sine 2x plus 0 k okay, plus sine 2x root under and limit k tends to 0 and here uh, this is uh, root under sine 2x plus k minus sine 2 root under 2x right and here root under sine 2x plus k plus root under sine 2x and it is in the it is in the form of a minus b times a plus b so a minus b times a plus b simply becomes a square minus b square so writing a square minus b square form i get like this sine 2x root under sine 2x 2x plus k whole square minus root under sine 2x whole square whole divided by okay now uh, on left hand side let it be del y by del x right now so and this factor becomes you know 2 root under sine 2x right because uh, after cancelling this 0 this term becomes root under root under sine 2x plus and this term is also root under sine 2x and sine this adding these two terms we get 2 times root under sine 2x and inside this bracket we have to use the formula like this okay this formula it means sine c minus sine d is equal to 2 times sine c minus d divided by 2 cos c plus d divided by 2 okay so after using this formula in this term we get okay before that we have to write uh, okay we have to remove this square so this square cancels out with this root under sign so we are left with 2 sine x plus sine 2 x plus k minus sine 2 x whole divided by k is here okay now on left hand side we have dy by dx is equal to and we also have 1 by 2 root under sine 2 x as it is and inside limit there is uh, inside limit we use sine the formula of sine c minus sine d it is 2 sine um, 2 times x plus k minus um, 2 times x whole divided by 2 times cos 2 times x plus k plus 2x whole divided by 
to is there right okay this formula is uh, we get this uh, term after using the formula standard formula of sin c minus sin d okay now 1 divided by 2 sin 2 root under sin, uh, sin 2x times limit k tends to 0 and on denominator there is k and in numerator 2 is there and inside this sign we get uh, okay after opening this bracket okay 2x plus 2k minus 2x all divided by 2 is there and inside cos we have uh, 2x plus 2k plus 2x is there and divided by 2 now again 1 by this 2 and this 2 is cancel up we can write because they are simply a number so you can cancel them out now 1 by root under sin 2x and limit is as it is there and sine there is uh, 2x 2x cancel out because 2x and minus 2x there and these two and these two also cancel out so sine k is there right and inside cos there is uh, you can you know 2x plus uh, sorry 2x plus 2x it is 4x plus and 2x 2k is there whole divided by 2 is also there divided by k okay now uh, in this uh, cost term cost factor we can use k is equal to 0 here right and if you use k is equal to 0 so we get cos of 4x by 2 so taking out of this uh, from the limit we get uh, cos 2 4x plus 2 into 0 in place of k divided by 2 whole divided by root under 2 sorry sine 2x okay this is sine 2x limit k tends to 0 sin k divided by k is there inside the limit okay now here in numerator cos is there okay and this 0 multiplied by 2 is 0 so we get 4x divided by 2 right divided by root under sin 2x is there and limit k tends to 0 sin k divided by k and you know this term whole term becomes 1 right because it, because it is in the form of limit theta tends to 0 sine theta divided by theta is equal to 1 right so using this formula we get this term 0 because in place of theta theta there is k which is del x so we are left with cos here you can cancel this 2 with this 4 and becomes 2x here so cos 2x is there whole divided by root under sin 2x and this term is 1 right so again you can write cos 2x whole divided by root under sin x okay now so dy by dx is actually what we got is 2x divided by root under sin 2x but what is y here y is actually root under sin 2x right and whole divided by dx is there and it it has got value so cos 2x divided by sin 2x so this is how you can find out the derivative of root under sin 2x with respect to x and we got the derivative as cos 2x divided by root under sin 2x similarly you can try for uh, derivative of derivative of root under cos 2x okay uh, by using the first principle and it should be uh, what it should be sine minus sine 2x divided by cos root under cos 2x try it once okay if you are unable to find out the value of derivative of this root under cos 2x from first principle then you can send the inform me in comment section i will also make video on it Okay, I hope you have got some idea about finding the derivative of root under sin 2x from first principle or by using the definition of derivative. Uh, this was in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you feel uh, this video is helpful, then you can share it. Uh, you can like it and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you are new to this channel. And if you have any query, then please leave it on comment section below. Thank you so much.